I, I'm trying after a hard session at my uh, local club. It's as I said, it's fed from a river, so the fish can be able to catch. So after that hard session, I've decided to come back and try further down the lake because that's where I've heard the roach have been catching. So someone fished in this peg yesterday and they said they had one roach, but like that was early days, so I don't know what they ended up with. Uh, all I've fed is three balls of ground bait at the start. That's Band and I. Half Band and I and half breadcrumb. And I've just put in a few pinch of pinkies. So I'll just show you my rigs. Yeah, so I've got one line. It's about 11 and a half, 12 metres. I'll just show you the rig. Here, I've got a four elastic, nice and light. I've got a cad pot, so I'll be feeling little and often. Two point two pound ten ounce main line. A Preston Dura float four times twelve. Three number eight bulks, and then I've got. A hook length of two pound two ounce and a size 20 hook. All I'll be fishing on is maggot and pinker. As I said, it's going to be hard today, but hopefully, this time we'll get some fish for the cameras. But first of all, I'm just going to have a walk around the lake because I've just cut the bait in. And there won't be any fish there and I'll do more harm than good. So I'll just have a walk round and hopefully some roach might have moved in. Right, now I've left the bait, I'm just gonna have a go over there. But here's a nice little tip. When you're fishing quite long and you're waiting for the bites, even hours for waiting for a bite, you want a pole support. This basically just goes between your legs or in a pole bit where some boxes have. This will hold the pole so your hands are free. You can make hooks or catapult bait out. Nice and accurate there. So let's have a go and see if we can catch a fish. Got a maggot on the hook. Put that out there. Bring it back in close. Get three or four maggots. Put them in the cad pot. And then ship out. Ship out nice and slow, nothing's rushed. You don't have to rush. Nice and slow. Then when you get to your desired length, flip the rig out in a straight line, put your pole in your pole support, hold it in between your legs, turn the pole, tap all the maggots out, and then that's job done. And you're waiting for a bark, so now it's just a waiting game really. Oh that went by. This is a big fish I think. Decent sized fish, it's pulling the leggy out. I was just gonna turn the camera off then because I thought I would be waiting for a bite but Bring it in nice and slow. Oh, it's starting to bloody fart now. Don't know what this is really. Might be a big roach. I say it's only on four elastic. Get the landing net. Cannot believe it. Pulling that lagging right out now. Oh, I think I might know what. 
there's a tench. Oh my god. This lake has got a lot of tension, but I, they never feed in winter. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. Oh, please, could get it here. Please, come on. Oh, lovely. Oh my god. Two days ago, I weren't getting a bike. Oh. Can't believe it. Oh, look at that. It's a clunking great tench. This is a male. Because the fins are quite big. A lot bigger than the females. Let's just hold them up for the camera. Look at that for a tench. What a great first fish. Fed from a river. I cannot. Look at them cormorants up there. And there, uh, look, there's another. Bloody horrible birds they are. If you ever see them at your waters, always scare them off because they're only fit, they're only coming here for one thing and that's to feed on the fish. They've been known to even eat pike, so you want to scare them off. Oh, I just only had one tench. But it is a lovely one. Nice male. It's the only bite I've had today. Just look at him there, look. Very strong fish. So let's put him back.